Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, we are going to learn about different networking commands. So the commands we are going to look at are these things. So we have ping command, trace route, NS lookup, and finally path ping command. So what is the use of all these four commands is so these commands can be used to get different kinds of information and we can try to use that information for troubleshooting purpose. Uh, for example, uh, we, we can uh, see the information and know what uh, where the network is not proceeding. Okay, so we can learn about uh, where is the error and uh, whom we should contact uh, and all these things okay so let's look at the ping command first so we are going to open the command prompt and in the command prompt the command is ping followed by whatever domain or IP address you want to ping okay so you have to remember that ping is a ICMP command so ICMP means Internet Control Message Protocol. It's a layer three that is network layer protocol. So you can see here. So all this information is uh, part of the response given by ping. OK, so in the first line, you can see the IP address of Google server. OK, so our system is communicating with this. Right. OK. So the ping command sends four packets, okay? And here you can see information for every packet. For uh, four packets, you have four rows of information. So you can see at the bottom. So ping statistics for the IP address of Google, packet sent is four, received packets is four, so loss is zero, okay? Because we got replies for all the packets that were sent. And here you can see minimum, maximum, and average round trip time. So here round trip time means the time taken for the packet uh, to go from source to the target and from target to source pack again. So that entire time is called round trip time. OK. So let me tell you some more things. So for each packet, we have the IP address to uh, I mean the IP address from which the reply came back and uh, the size of the packet that was sent that is here it is 32 bytes and the round trip time that was taken by the packet so 23 milliseconds so you can see that it is changing for pack uh, for the third packet right for the third packet the time was 94 millisecond maybe um, uh, something happened at a router or uh, whatever so it, it took more time than the other three packets okay and the last one is ttl so ttl means time to live so what is the what is meant by time to live and what this value is 116 what is the meaning of this is so 116 means there can be 116 routers in between uh, the sender and the target so sender is my system from where i am pinging and target here is Google. So between my system and Google, there can be 116 routers. That is the meaning of TTL, time to live. So for example, if there is 117th router before the, reaching the Google server, the packet will be lost. I mean, the packet will be dropped by the router, 117th router. OK. So actually, TTL is used to prevent looping of the packets in the network, right? OK, so uh, this information we can uh, get by using the ping command. So what is the use of this information is? So let's say whenever uh, you are in a LAN or, in, or you are in a van or you are in the internet, if you want to, uh, if you want to know whether a, uh, you can, your system can ping or communicate with a particular target system in the network, you can use ping command. OK, so you can directly give ping comma the IP address of the server or device uh, for which you want to know whether your system can communicate or not. OK, so that is the ping command. And second one is trace route. 
okay so let's see how trace route uh, works out so you will give the command actually trace rt is the command not trace route so for windows it is trace rt trace rt and the target you want to communicate with so again i am giving google.com so this time trace route or trace trace rt will give you different kind of information so immediately you can see here uh, so it is again giving the ip address of the target google.com and here it is showing hop information okay so hops means routers okay so trace route can display uh, information over a maximum of 30 routers or 30 hops right okay so after my system the immediate gateway or router is this one so this is the internal ip address of my router okay so it is taking some time right So it is going to display the list of all the routers in between my system and the target. Okay. So these are the IP addresses of all the routers in between my system and the target, which is google.com. So, so far we have got information of three hops, that is three routers. Uh, still it is going on. Okay, I stopped it. So instead of google.com, let's try uh, facebook.com. Okay. So meanwhile, uh, as it is still going on, I will uh, tell you about this one, which is here you are seeing for each hop, you are seeing one millisecond, one millisecond, and one millisecond. So you can see time three times, right? So actually what will TraceRT do is TraceRT will send three packets to each router. So for this router, it is sending three packets. And these are the times uh, taken for those packets to reach the router okay so the, that is uh, that is the thing about all these times so it varies for each router so the farther uh, the packet goes the more time it will take so it's still going on Maybe my network is a little bit congested or it is slow. So it is taking some time for completion. Right now it is going a little bit fast. So here, okay, right. So it took a uh, total of nine hops or nine routers to reach the destination. So this is the destination, okay. So here you can see the IP address of facebook.com server. 157.240.16.35 which is same as this one okay and this first hop or first router is my internal router uh, in my home okay maybe this belongs to my network provider isp router of my isp and this year 173.252.67.167 this might be belonging to facebook internal network okay all right so using trace route you can see all the routers and uh, i mean their ip addresses as well as the time taken to reach that router so that's about trace route and next command is ns lookup okay so ns in ns lookup means name server okay name server lookup so in name server we can have different types of records 
and one of them is a record uh, which contains the mapping between the domain name and ip address so what is the use of ns lookup command is you will use it like this ns lookup space domain for which you want the information okay so it is used to find the ip address right so here you can see ip address of google.com server and this one server unknown address 192.168.0.1 so this ns lookup command is actually using uh, this server which is 192.168.0.1 for finding the ip of google.com okay so it is using local dns which is my router okay so instead of this if you want to use some other dns server what you can do is you use ns lookup and hit enter without giving the domain so now you can see default server unknown and it is using this server which you have seen previously and you are seeing this greater than symbol right from so that means you are in the interactive mode so when you are in the interactive mode you just give the command server and the dns server ip address which you want to use so i am using google's public dns ip 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. Okay, now the server has been set to Google's DNS. So you can see here, default server is Google DNS and its address is this. Now you can give the domain for which you want to find the information. Now you give google.com and now you can see it is using the server dns.google and here it is giving the IP address. So this is IP version four address and this is IP version six address, right? So to come out of the interactive mode, you have to give exit. Okay, now you are back. So that is about NS lookup. And one more is path ping. So path ping is actually a combination of the information given by ping and trace route along with some little bit of extra information. But actually it's the combination of information given by ping and trace route. Okay. So let's see. Um, the command is path ping. And the target domain I am giving is facebook.com. All right. So first you are going to see the hops like you have seen in the trace route, but you are not seeing the times, right? Okay. So this will take some time to execute actually. Uh, meanwhile, I have already used the command previously. So I am going to show you the result. So here is the result of path ping facebook.com. So this is the IP address of facebook.com server and these are all the hops, nine hops are there. Okay. And along with that, you can see this information, right? So it is displaying round trip time for all the hops. Okay. For all the nine hops, it is going to display round trip time. RTT means round trip time. And here on the right hand side, you can see the IP addresses again. Okay. And actually, you are seeing some kind of addresses now before the IPs for some hops. So these are the host names for those servers. Okay. So this is the server host. Okay. So uh, those are the comments, uh, networking comments, which we can use to get different kinds of information and decide what is going on in the network. Okay, and also to know if communication is, uh, is taking place or not. Okay, so that's it for this session. Thank you.